How long did we shoot this? Yeah. I think it was 22 days. 22. 22 or 20. No, it was more than that. I think we got 26 days. And from the main idea, shoot. How long did it take? From the, from the idea that the writer had, and he actually had the idea like two years before, but he didn't write it until he met us, until he met me that night. Um, until we were finished with it. Most of the shooting was within six months. That happened really fast. And usually, you guys probably know this, especially independent films, it varies, but I mean, you could take 10 years to get your movie made, you know? I would say three or four years is probably an average. So we were really fortunate, but at the same time, you know, so we hit that point, but then we had to go into post, and then there were other projects. So between kind of finishing the movie and then distributing it, it took even longer. So it was kind of a, a downtime. We also, um, people in my company, you guys can back in if you want to learn about distribution and things like that, which is actually one of the most important things for independent filmmakers, because if you, if you don't get good distribution, it's hard to make another movie because your movie's not going to get out there, it's not going to make money. So, on the first two movies that we actually made, they were pretty good films, they did well, but we gave them to other distributors, and we got our money back, then they kept everything else. And so that's why we now sell our own movies, because we don't want to get ripped off anymore. Uh, and that's also why, I, I mentioned all that, because that's also why we've taken our time, especially with putting this out in the US, because it opened in England earlier in the year, and like I said, it's now in Germany, in Canada, uh, because we're in the U.S. selling it ourselves. Because we want to make some money. Wait, yes. Do you have projects? I'm oh, sorry, that's all right. Go ahead. Oh, do you have projects to take it to South America? Um, this one is going to start playing in South America soon. Uh, but it's like we have any other projects that are made there. Or oh, this. this will be in South America probably that work. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, two questions. Uh, what order did you shoot the film? Did you do it chronologically? Did you do it? Yeah. And um, what style did you use? We, I think we used a, it's called a vision style. I think it was 22. Ask me what that means, and I say it's film is not that expensive. <laughs> so, uh, but we had a really good DP who, again, was able to work fast. And we were very lucky, as you guys. Well, if you're film students, you know about movies, you know that 80% of movies, especially indies, are now being shot on high def, on digital. And, at, you know, it's at worth, the point where it actually looks pretty good now, especially with the red cameras and what, what people can do with it. Uh, five or six years ago, it still looked really bad. And I was very fortunate, um, you know, about a year and a half, two years ago, when this was all happening. I got shown thirty five, so uh, which I have no idea when I'll be shooting on thirty five next. Because the next three movies I'm supposed to do are all going to be in high def. So, and your other question, we did not shoot in uh, chronological order. Chronological order. It is all about locations when you're shooting a movie. It's all about where are you going to shoot today, and then how much can you shoot of it. So. Um, like for this movie, when we got to shooting the house, we shot everything in the house that was in the house. And then, you know, when it was time to go to the barn, it was everything in the barn. Uh, you know, when the exteriors, whatever neighborhood we were in, we shot as much as we could in that neighborhood. Because one of the most expensive things when you're shooting, whether it's a big budget movie or a small budget movie, and really the dynamics of lower budget, medium, higher, they're all the same when you're making it. You're making a hundred million dollar movie, you're making a million dollar movie, you are dealing with the same issues. Uh, and transportation, and changing locations, and doing company moves, moving all the trailers, all the trucks, all the people, those, that's one of the most expensive things in shooting a movie. So, you know, unless you're doing Spider-Man 3, you've got a hundred million dollars worth of special effects. So the transportation is always a big expense. And so when you're planning out your shots, when you're planning out how are you going to shoot this as a director when you're sitting down with your first AD, your assistant director? You know, they're the person that helps plan the schedule, they go over the shots with you. You know, every day you do a number of steps, right? And, and that's basically how many times you're going to move the camera, how many scenes you're going to shoot, 
and how many steps are within those seeds. So uh, time is always, time is money. It really is. Especially when you're shooting film, and especially when you're also, uh, when you're doing an indie movie. I mean, things you don't want to think about, especially as a director, like overtime. You know, you don't want to, if you're directing the movie and you're actually thinking about the acting, the story, and the light, and all the stuff that you want it to be as good as it can be, you don't want somebody coming up to you going, you're going to overtime in, in 30 minutes so we can get those four shots you can get yet. <laughs>